Welcome to the shortwave radio channel. And of course, we dabble in shortwave, medium wave, and long wave. Um, to answer a few questions I've had in the couple of like, the past couple of weeks about long wave uh, listening. So uh, some people have very specific ideas of what long wave is all about. So some people think it's non-directional beacons and nothing else. Um, I've had a few comments, people saying, isn't that where the submarines, you know, are? And, uh, of course, some of you know in Europe that there's um, there's still a few long wave stations uh, that are even received here on the East Coast from time to time in North America. So long wave is, you know, all of that um, in the the submarines are really, really in the very, very low part of the long wave bands, below 20 kilohertz. That's where submarines are because extremely low frequencies uh, penetrate water better. So submarines are um, in the, you know, below 20 kilohertz range. Uh, there's a few time stations in the, uh, you know, anywhere from about... Uh, at the 10 to, to 100 kilohertz, there are some time stations in there, including the famous WWVB 60 kilohertz that can uh, set your clocks if you have a uh, what they call an atomic clock. Then above that, uh, you have a mix of all sorts of things on long wave. There are a few amateur bands uh, that are in there. There are a few, of course, there's non-directional beacons that you get through there. Um, in North America, that's a big, big thing, and that's what most of us hear. Uh, so you'll hear them with their tones in the Morse code ident identification. Um, depending on the noise level and everything, um, and the antenna you're using, uh, some of you might have transatlantic DX opportunities because long wave in Europe, Middle East, and um, in Africa have been used for broadcasts, just like the AM band in North America. Uh, but these are very powerful and uh, often heard here on the East Coast, at least, of North America. So there are some broadcasts there, but uh, depending on where we live in the world, we don't all hear the same thing. And on the top part of the long wave band, well, it's, it's actually becoming medium wave because, you know, we, we tend to give long wave the a very wide frequency range up to about 500 kilohertz. But in reality, long wave uh, technically stops at 300 kilohertz. Above 300 kilohertz, it becomes what's called medium wave. Uh, but um, around 500 kilohertz, you will hear some, um, around 518 kilohertz particularly, you could hear some Naftex and winter broadcasts in Naftex form and so on. I actually have a video of uh, decoding a Naftex transmission on my uh, Texan PL990X one evening. But uh, long wave is different things. But, you know, if you live in North America, chances are, especially with very modest equipment, you'll hear mostly non-directional beacons from airports. Uh, if you have better equipment, if you live closer to the East Coast and have good antennas and low noise, it's not impossible you'll hear transatlantic DX stations, you know, like Algeria, for example. Uh, and um, you um, will have, of course, the possibility to uh, to hear um, amateur signals that if, if, if it's, um, you know, the signal, the, the noise floor is low enough at your location and you have good antennas. There's some act amateur activities. There's all sorts of little things happening in that band. I think it's worth to take a listen and tune around uh, from the lowest part of what your radio can go to. Um, in my case, like in portables, often we go to the, about 100, 150 kilohertz and up. And uh, on the SDR, you can go down even lower. But um, tune, tune the frequency range from time to time and um, check out. You'll be surprised. And listen regularly at night. Because propagation on the long wave band changes from night to night and from, you know, month to month. You'll hear things sometimes you don't hear at other times, and it's worth to tune around more than once. Uh, one of the things that makes a successful DXer is you don't try it just once or twice and say, well, I never hear anything, so I'm not going to do it again. It's you do it even if you don't hear anything ever. 
until one day you'll be surprised with a signal with something that you didn't think was possible. So that's the things that you need to do. You need to make sure that you check and tune around that frequency range. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.